excited. And this is a sculpt by Priscilla Lopez. And it was uh, the prototype artist is Lydia Torres. So I am like, Oh, I am so excited. I'm bummed because the natural light is pretty much gone. It was gonna be too dark. So I do have one lamp on, but I'm pretty sure he'll come over um, well. So I am super excited. It's not gonna be a big box opening or anything, but let me get to it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, I'm so excited. <laughs> things here this is what he was photographed in and this is what came from the um, the prototype artist very adorable Ooh, super cute little ones it goes underneath it real poopy oh so cute it reminds me of the um, Babadoo um, I think that's how you say it, um, outfit. So um, very, very cute. All right, so that is adorable. I see his paperwork. He's nice and protected, beautiful blankie. All right, I am gonna grab him out as I usually do, not pretty like. <laughs> and here's paperwork and pacifiers and pacifier clip, it looks like, so get this out of the way oh my gosh I'm so excited like like you guys have no idea well I'm sure you do you guys know me oh all right he is right here beautiful blanket it's got um it's got uh, like applique or it's almost like a cutout of moons and stars, which I love. And it's super soft. Uh, he's wearing a sleeper. This was also in his photos. I don't know if, I th don't think this came from the Reborn artist. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow, even in this light, you can see his veining. Oh, and his toes are beautiful, beautiful feet. Oh, and he feels really good. He's got the texture I love on, on babies. They're so much easier for me to dress that way. Let's get this little leg out, buddy. Let's get this little leg out. He is actually a sculpt I had never even heard of. And I contacted the seller. This is a pre-loved baby. Um, I contacted the seller for a different um, posting she had for a sell. Oh my gosh. Oh, his painting is just remarkable wow oh I can't wait to see him in the light very nice all right let's get to his hand oh good he has a diaper on his head I really love this blanket oh he's just a widow guy you know how I love these newborns so Oh, his hand is beautiful. Look at that arm. Are you guys close enough? Oh, you weren't even seeing his legs, were you? Gosh darn it. I hate it when I do that. Let me see that it's all on him. Wow, through the camera. It looks like a real baby sitting over there with the diaper on its head. All right, can you guys see good? Okay, so here's his legs. I am so sorry about that. You can see all the veining here. I'll get closer up with the camera after I reveal his face so you can see him all, but he is just beautiful. 
So we have this one uh, open hand, the forefinger and the middle finger are fused. It's a real flat hand. And then this one is in a soft fist. And he's just, oh, look at that. Look at the veining. The color of him is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. You can tell it's real, it's not surface. It's all layers of paint that brought this beautiful tone. Beautiful. I, you guys might know who he is already. He's real light and that's okay. Um, I may um, see about getting him reweighted, but we'll see. I like him this way for now. I don't like him with the diaper, so let's take it off. Let's look at you, little guy. Let's look at you. Is your face forward? Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the veining. Oh my gosh, he's just got beautiful color and veining oh my gosh look at that beautiful face and he's got rooted hair it's just very finely rooted oh my goodness wow he is beautiful he's got lightly rooted eyelashes and just beautiful depth of color there just amazing look at him here his ear his head his hair is awesome i won't ever have to do anything with his hair it's rooted so nice that it just lays down kind of like my mia in fact i think he looks a lot like mia and I think I'm gonna make them twins. I thought I was gonna do that with August. I could make them triplets, that would be pretty cool, but August is so big, so I'll see, but they are all the same coloring. Look at that cheek. Okay, let's look at the other side. He's got, he's got marks here. I don't think he has any scratches. Oh, he's so beautiful beautiful ears oh he's got very soft hair coming down here very pretty um very realistic oh he's just got a beautiful face so this is peanut by priscilla lopez and he is actually levi's brother so um the levi sculpt is after a real baby and peanut is after that baby's brother and i am going to pick him up for a cuddle oh, he is very light um, a lot lighter than my other babies and i think i may I think I may want him reweighted. Oh, his head is awesome. The mold is, um, it's got, uh, it's not smooth on the top. It's got the, the bones uh, are, are raised. It's very wonderful. I'm gonna bring him up so you guys can see the detail in his face. Look at this. Look at that baby. That's hair. I thought it was a scratch, but that's hair. Very fine lanugo. And you see, oh my gosh, his head is perfect. It looks just like a real baby. Can you tell that the bones are, that the skull is actually
dipped in at the fontanelle quite prominently, just like a real baby would be in the, in the bones back here. Because you actually have two um, soft spots. Oh, look at his face. You have one in the front and one in the back on babies. Oh, he is so precious. I do wish he was a little heavier because I just do uh, like my babies to be more uh, realistic weight. And I, and I think his weight um, is too light. But his limbs are nicely weighted, but his bottom and his um, head, his head is all right. His head is nice and heavy, but he doesn't have any weight in his body. So, oh, oh my goodness. Let's take this off so everyone can see you. I am. Sorry if my big head is in the way, guys. Oh, you just want to fall forward, huh? Oh, little guy. <laughs> yeah, his head is nice. It's his uh, body that's more light than I. But maybe I will like it. You know, every baby's different. And um, some of the babies came and they were so heavy. I really thought that, like, their heads were too heavy for me. And then after I got used to them, I actually liked it better. So, um, oh, something stuck to you. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so let's look at his paperwork. Oh, don't you that peanut. And I do not have a name. He was such a um, quick decision for me. And um, he got here so fast, I have not even had time. I've been doing a lot of sales the last few days. Um, I think I've done um, six <laughs> sales, so There's a lot of babies to get packed up. And oh, how cute! He's got this really cute nut new new that my thumb got stuck in. Oh, it really doesn't want to stay on him. Why is it twenty? seems too low for him or the pacifier clip seems too heavy I don't know but it's not right off. I have another one I don't put new news in their faces anyway but it is a very cute new new it's got or a cover it's got a little guy with a soccer ball or no a basketball it's very, actually very cute it kind of looks like South Park <laughs> I know it's not, but it kind of has that look about it. And then his paperwork came off. Whoa! Yeah, I just dropped it all. Uh, it came all nice in a folder. And it says, oh, it's in Fifth Ama Reborn by Lydia Torres. Hold on, I'm trying to open this. That's just a folder. And then inside is his COA. And he is, I think it's an open edition. Let me turn it over. Oh no. Oh, there's only 500. Wow, I didn't realize he was so uh, rare. That, that makes sense because I have never heard of him nor have I ever seen him. So he's only uh, 500 made. So 206 out of 500, that's nice. And then I have a beautiful card made by, um, by Lydia Torres. And he was done in, um, it doesn't say, but he's 20 inches. Oh, he was done on the 22nd of, ne of January in 2018. So I may not even be his second owner. 
I'm not sure how much she's traveled, but that's okay. And then there's a beautiful card that says uh, gracias or thank you with beautiful flowers. And it says, muchas gracias por, um, um, it's all in Spanish, but um, my son or my husband can help me translate that. And then there is another thank you card. And on the back, it says, muchas gracias. And again, it says, thank you. So lots of thank yous. And his COA and her birth certificate. So I love that. Um, and he is just gorgeous, isn't he? I'm gonna move things around a bit because I want to lay me in next to him. I, when I saw him, I thought he looked so much like Mia. The coloring is so much the same and their hair is like identical. So let me um, get him. Come here, baby boy. Oh, you're so light. You're so light compared to Mia. <laughs> All right, and uh, I'll adjust the camera. Uh, well, actually you're gonna be able to see just fine. I'll put them right here. Come here, baby. Come here. Kind of facing down. That's good. Let me get in there. She's heavy compared to him. So heavy. I weighed her. She weighs, um, didn't you weigh her? I think she, she weighs, oh, I cannot remember now. She weighed over five pounds, I think. Let me lay her down. Okay, baby girl. She's very Oh, sorry, Peanut. Oh, look, <laughs> she's a lot more red, but their hair is so perfect. What do you guys think? You guys think that they look, they're not looking upright, Mia. Mm. Oh, I did her head the wrong way. Me. She needs to sit up a bit more. What do you guys think? You guys think they could pull it off? But I'm telling you, if I brought August out, there's no way he would. He's so big, but I'll bring him out just for the fun of it. All right, Peanut, we're going to scooch you this way. We'll pull you down, and we're gonna scooch Miss Miss Heavy Mia. <laughs> she is so heavy, especially compared to him. Okay, and let's bring August. <laughs> Where do you see August? Where is August? Oh, I moved babies around yesterday. Oh, August with his hair. Oh, he's huge compared to these two little ones. <laughs> Come here, Pina. I mean, uh, August. Let me see. Yeah, he's way too big to uh, compare. I can't get his head. <laughs> yeah, they look so small compared to him. I can't get his head right, but I think you can see him good enough. Let me get them. <laughs> yeah, he's just a little big for them. But those two little ones look so cute. Oh, I just love Peanut. He is adorable. So these are the three that I have that are newborn looking. They've got the red and the blotchiness and some of them have scratches or marks. 
Whereas the rest of my babies are beautiful babies. They have more of the peaches and cream look. And then I have, uh, I think they're all, all the rest are kind of peaches and cream, except for um, my Skaya asleep. She does have a scratch and she does have some milk bumps on her nose, but she's still a very pretty baby. And these are pretty babies, but they're more of that blotchy newborn look. Beautiful, aren't they? Oh my gosh. Well, maybe I will make them triplets just because they're all three such blondies. And uh, I don't know how I ended up with so many blondies since my babies and my grandbabies were, um, were all dark haired. Even my oldest son, who's, his dad is blonde hair, blue eyes, just like me but our son was born very dark hair. Not as dark as my other two who are mixed with Mexican, but, and then my grandkids are um, Caucasian, um, Mexican, or, you know, Hispanic, and then Polynesian. Oh, they're so cute. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I really do love him. Um, I do think I'm going to see about getting him uh, reweighted. And um, I don't know how I'll go about that. But I'm sure I can figure that out. Because even if I did be able to get his head off and stuff, I would not be able to weight him correctly. Put the Put the I just don't see that happening so I'm going to um, maybe I'll watch some YouTube videos and get more confident or um, I'll just send them to somebody to fix <laughs> all right guys well thank you so much for coming I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you on Monday for a new video Take care, friends. Bye.